In this video, expand this expression right here. So take a moment to pause the video, try it out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. All right, so if we use our laws of logarithms here, we can start to rewrite this as the ln, the natural log of e to the 3x plus 1, plus the ln of the square root of x squared plus 1. Now the law I'm using right there, I'm using it in the numerator, is that the ln of a times b, the product of two factors, equals the natural log of a plus the natural log of b. So our two factors are right here, they're being multiplied, and we're taking the natural log of each of them individually and then adding them. Then I'm um, dealing with our denominator, and with division, we can use the law of logarithms that says the log of a divided by b equals the log of a minus the log of b. And the idea is that I'm viewing a as this whole numerator right here and b as this whole denominator so that we can rewrite this now by subtracting what's in the numerator uh, by the natural log of x to the e and subtracting the natural log of e to the x. And if you're feeling a little shaky about that, you say, well, isn't that, aren't these two multiplied? Doesn't the first law apply? You could write it like this, where you subtract the natural log of x to the e plus the natural log of e to the x. In other words, you're subtracting the product of those two things. But then later on, when you distribute this negative sign to both parts, you get back to the same term. And if you don't like that, I'll read it like this, so you can see all the steps. Why don't we just do that? Natural log of x to the e times e to the x. Right, so numerator subtracted by denominator. Now we can bring our coefficients in the front using what I call the clog law, and I'll show you what I mean. Plus, I'm just gonna, the exponent here is a half, so it's one half the natural log of x squared plus one, right? Square root is uh, written as one half as an exponent. And then now we gotta subtract the natural log of x to the e plus the natural log of e to the x, using that first law of exponents. And actually, um, I'll leave it as red. So the, the one law I just applied, the clog law, is that c times the log of a equals log times log of log of a to the power of c and c is applying just to the a right here so you can bring that exponent down if it's up top and bring it up top if it's in front whatever is convenient convenient to us but the word clog is right there hence the calling it clog law now we go through this term by term natural log of e is just one because e to the first is itself, and that means it's just 3x plus 1 in our first term here, plus 1 half of the natural log of x squared plus 1, nothing to do there. And then minus, this is bring our exponent in the front, e times the ln of x, e times the natural log of x, and then I'm going to distribute this negative sign here as well, minus x times the natural log of e, and again, the natural log of e is just 1, so I'm going to kind of cross that out, and what we're left with is this right here. But, but, oops, we can still combine 3x minus x, that's 2x, our final answer, 2x, plus 1 half the natural log of x squared plus 1 minus e times the natural log of x. And there are no more laws to apply or things to split up, so we are finished. All right, I hope that helped.